Hi everyone, bonjour. Uh, let's have a look at this question here. Uh, paper one uh, question, physics standard level, November 2022, number 13. And it is exactly the same question, number 15 on the high level paper. So let's see. A point source emits a sound wave of amplitude Z. A person stands at distance L from the source. The amplitude is changed to 2Z, which means the amplitude is double, doubled. And then what distance must the person move through in order to hear the original intensity again? Okay. So here, this question here is about intensity of sound or let's say wave intensity, right? So let's talk a little bit about intensity and let's remember what are the relationships between intensity and distance and intensity and amplitude. So by looking at this, uh, by, by looking at this uh, diagram here or schematic, right here, I'm using just light wave, it's fine. So, so here we have a source of light or source of wave and then there is an imaginary sphere at distance r from the point source. Okay, so that basically, you know, we say, okay, there is like an area that uh, is exposed uh, by the light and this spherical area here is going to be, let's say, A, right? And then intensity by actually uh, definition or by, for by formula, the intensity is actually the ratio, uh, the power of radiation divided by this area of the sphere, imaginary sphere around the source where the light is being propagated. Okay. So, so this is P here is the power of radiation. And the power, the unit of power is watts, right? A unit of area is meter squared. So we can say intensity or wave intensity or light intensity, you know, which actually basically represents the brightness of, of light. You know, it's just kind of physical quantity, you know, which represents the brightness, how bright is the color. So the, uh, sorry, the, the color or the light or the visible light, right? When, um, when we talk about sound, so intensity will represent the loudness you know, how loud is the sun, is the sound, okay? So here, the unit of intensity is going to be watts per meter squared or watts meter minus two, okay? So now this area here is area of a sphere, right? So I can, okay, we know area of a sphere is going to be four pi r squared, right? Where r here is the radius of the sphere or the distance from the source, right? So now we can tell that I or the intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between the source, right? So this is the first conclusion now, very important facts, okay? And I just proved, proved it to you now using formulas, right? So the intensity is inversely, which makes sense, you know, like, you know, the further you go from the light, from the light source or from the sound source, you know, the weaker, the brightness or the weaker the intensity of the sound, right? But it is not like, it's not only with R, no, it is with R squared. So it's inver inversely proportional to uh, R squared. So this is the first conclusion. I will just write it again here. So I is, I will basically write it here in the question. So the first conclusion here, I, the intensity is inversely proportional to the R squared where R here is the distance, you know, to the source. Okay, between the observer, of course, between the observer or the person here in this question here is the person, right? And the source. Okay, very good. Now, the second important relationship is how about the amplitude? Okay, the amplitude of the wave, right? Which is the maximum distance between the equilibrium position to, um, uh, to the crest, for example, or to the trough, right, of the wave. So, so this is the amplitude, okay? Unfortunately, the amplitude also is A, so be, the, the, please don't be confused. You know, A here is area, but also A also can be amplitude. So let us see. 
So now when I, I started with I equal P, the power over four pi R squared, I can actually replace power by energy over time, by energy over time, right? So power is rate of doing work or rate of energy transferred from one point to another, right? So energy over time, and then we still have four pi R squared here in the denominator. So from this relationship here, if intensity is proportional to the power of radiation, it is also proportional to the energy of the wave. Okay. So so let's let's now say okay. So energy is proportional to the energy of the wave. Okay. Now, if you if you taking standard level, right? So you can just um, take it as a fact. You know that the energy of the wave is proportional to the square of the amplitude, okay? Sometimes, you know, we call it X naught or A, okay? So if so, if this is equation one or this is relationship one, second relationship from one and two, we can say the intensity is also proportional to the square of the amplitude. If you are taking physics high level, you will go through all the mathematics formula for the simple harmonic motion. And then you can, you can see by formula, that this energy here is uh, basically directly proportional to uh, the amplitude squared, all right? Uh, so here, uh, I, but it's not my, my target today. I just want to solve the question. Maybe later I can, um, I can post a video, you know, talking in details about uh, the uh, mathematics or formulations of uh, simple harmonic motion equations. So, okay, so let's just take it for now. So intensity is proportional, which makes sense again. I mean, like, you know, the, the bigger the amplitude, the bigger the energy transferred and the bigger the intensity of the wave or brightness or loudness of the sound. So intensity is proportional to amplitude squared, which we call, <laughs> which he call it here Z. It's fine. You call it Z, you call it X naught, you call it A, you know, this is amplitude, okay? So let's now think physics. Let's think physics. Now, here we have the source. Okay, so we have the source of, of the sound. Let's say, I don't know, it's like a speaker here, right? So the speaker here is the source of the sound. And then the person here is standing right at a distance L from, from the sound. And the amplitude was, was just Z. Now, the second scenario, the amplitude become, became 2z, double the amplitude. Now, from these relationships here, we have i is proportional to the square of the amplitude, which means what? Which means if you double the amplitude, the intensity has to be four times, right? So, so here, doubling the amplitude that leads now, let's say, okay, let's say now we have i1, like we had i1 here in the first case. Right, so doubling the amplitude will lead to four times i one. Okay, now what distance must the person move through in order to hear the original intensity again? So now we need to move back from four i one back to i one, which means what? Which means I need to reduce the intensity by a factor of four. Right now, here talk about distance. So I can I can move this person here somehow some distance to reduce this intensity by a factor of four. Now I now I can use this relationship. The intensity is inversely proportional to the square of the distance, right? So since I need the intensity to be reduced by a factor of four, it means what? It means I need I have to double double the distance by a factor, or I mean, increase the distance by a factor of two, right? So, so here in, the, to, in, 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 that, in the second case, right? If, I, if, if, it's, if it's double the amplitude now, I have four I1, right? So the, the person has to be at this, so I can, I can just move the person, or the person need to be moved, you know, at, at a distance of double two L, right to hear to hear exactly the same intensity according to these two relationships right 
But now be careful here, the answer is not 2L because here the question asks, okay, what distance must move through? So he already add distance of L. So basically he need to move one more L, which is the answer is A. Okay. So uh, by this, I conclude this uh, question. Uh, feel free to leave any comments, uh, questions. Uh, and if you think it's uh, relevant, this uh, channel to you, uh, you may consider uh, subscribing and uh, have a good day.